right, hello friends. A um, little bit misleading on the title. Um, I am going to ink this uh, figure today um, using a Kalinsky Sable, but I want to kind of get used to the character again and kind of clean up the anatomy a little bit. So it looks like his torso is a little too long. You know, his hip goes way out, so I'm going to spend a little bit of time sketching on the character. And then I'll uh, get going with the inks. Not too much cleanup to do with it. It's just I want to make sure it's right before I uh, put down permanent marks. Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Um, this will be the last time, uh, the last live stream with this page. Um, when I'm doing the stairs and uh, the brick in the background, I'll uh, I'll probably do that as a time lapse later today and upload that. It's just going to be a lot of uh, kind of the same stroke over and over, so might as well not make anyone suffer through a long, mundane live stream with that. So. I'm just kind of building in the, the angle of the face right now. Looks like the ear was too high, too. And this shoulder in the background. Like to identify where the nose is going to be, I usually just do a little circle. Who am I talking to? All of the all of the new subscribers I have, Leroy. It's been an amazing week. I think I got 150 new subscribers in the last week or so. Like, um, I think when I was looking at my analytics, well, first off, Leroy, how are you today? Welcome. What are you up to? Working? Just waking up? But I was looking at my uh, YouTube analytics this week, and um, my channel or videos have been shown in feeds 27,000 times. So for whatever reason finally uh, getting picked up in the algorithm so hey Amit how are you welcome happy Saturday um actually well I got you guys here so I started a uh, using a, a pen for all of this and then further out, I, I went with a, uh, a sable brush. So I think I'm a little bit more um, confident with the, with the brush. So I'll be doing more with the brush today than in that tool I haven't figured out. Let me straighten this camera out here. <laughs> Well, you enjoy your Saturday shopping trip, Leroy. Thanks for stopping by, man. How's uh, Groken doing? I haven't been on the socials to, uh, lately. I was going to say today, but I think it's been more than today. Oh, and uh, Leroy, did you uh, catch Russ's last stream? He mentioned he's going on the Rageaholics channel. They're doing a... Uh, I guess he's doing an Iron Age comic creators show now. So hopefully Russ uh, gets that uh, attention that he deserves. Hopefully that's a, a good thing for him. Uh, and Leroy says, Groken 3 is at 687 backers, 66.5 thousand. Uh, Leroy says, I miss 
Russ solo streams. Yeah, he said he was going to start doing some art streams, but... I'm sorry about that. The camera kind of went crazy. Shifted. All right, I think I got enough down. Kind of looking at what you guys can see. It's weird if it's not if I'm not looking at the actual page, I can see more more flaws than if I'm looking at the actual page. Seems like all of my pencils are like running out of lead at the same time. I think the coat tail should hang a little lower. Kind of wanted to look a little more draped over him. Uh, Leroy says he misses the Rust Solo streams where he draws. Yeah, he um, he said he had a lot of uh, commission work coming up, and he was get, gonna try to uh, start live streaming those. But um, if you're not aware of who we're talking about, it's Russ Leach. Um, his YouTube channel is Comic Book Black Belt. Really nice guy. Um, really great artist worked for professional comics like uh, Batman, Doctor Who. And he's got a cool accent, so his, his stuff's always fun to watch. heavy Kirby influence. Yeah, definitely. You can definitely see that. Okay, so I don't need this leg to be lower. So I need the knee to be like around here. brush get a good point on it and then we'll get going uh, Leroy says I think I'm going to learn how to draw like Roquefort tomorrow the amount of confidence it takes to draw like him is insane like not not even like the the composition and the ideas just like the looseness of it like he's He's something else, man. Kenneth Roquefort's a beast. And then, like, you add that, like, with awesome character design and, like, crazy um, panel ideas. It's just, like, yeah. He really makes uh, something special. This right here is a uh, Rosemary and Co. Kalinsky Sable. It's the a really good uh, brush, and like the you can't beat the price of these things. Picked up a little 
bit of debris from the, the eraser. All right, spotted that black area. And the brush seems to be cooperating really good today. Um, I think I might... Leroy says, think I might pop into Pete's auction tonight just to ninja buy something Amanda bids on. <laughs> She's outbid me for a few things, man. I um, I haven't looked at any of the auction streams in quite a while. There's really just <clears throat> anything in my price range isn't anything I'm really excited to own. And the stuff I have bought in previous auctions, I, I don't display or anything. So it's just kind of like an unnecessary expense for me right now. Like, um... Leroy, when you used to do the, uh, when you would uh, EFAP Shays, like those were some really exciting uh, auctions. Like you'd, you'd be curious, like how how much um, a creator would get their first time out. But I've seen a lot of people um, kind of the timer run out and nobody buy their books or their uh, original art, and that's. It's one of my biggest fears to just to put yourself out there and no one want your shit, so. Oz Great Sage is here. Hello, sir. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. So I think along this side, it's gonna, the leg's going to be solid black. I'm just trying to think of where the light coming from the magic wand is going to hit. Um, Leroy says she started putting a reserve on stuff. That defeats the purpose, in my humble opinion. Oh, I Maybe I haven't watched in a while. I don't recall there being a reserve on stuff. And then there's um, 
if you watch like those art auction streams, there's always a few people that you've supported, you gave them money for a book that they still haven't um, fulfilled. So, like, that's kind of left a bad taste. <laughs> like, I don't want to give someone more money if they didn't they didn't fulfill on the last thing that they were supposed to. Uh, Osgrey Sage says, are you excited for Space Marine 2 game, Leroy? So glad that's for, uh, Leroy, because I have no clue what you're talking about. Uh, Leroy said, I told you I'd buy something. <clears throat> you said you're too good to do a commission for me. No, that's not the case at all, sir. to dry <clears throat> I need this section to dry a little bit so I'm trying to see where I can go without having to move the camera
Um, let's see here. Oh shit, it's the last day of the sumo tourney. I almost forgot. Is that uh gonna be on your channel later tonight then? You doing some some e fapping tonight, Leroy? says, yeah, I told Angela I would. Right on.
this is going to be like some finer lines. So I'm going to go slow and do some short lines. the brush a little bit so I can kind of have the point going in the direction that I want. There we go. I think this whole area here is just going to be blacked in. trying to get the camera set up where you can actually see what I'm doing, but kind of invert my palm like to get these lines in here. Um, Oz says, what is the character doing? He looks like he's in a fighting stance, just needs a rape, rapier? I don't know how to pronounce that word. 
Um, he's walking down a winding staircase, and he's using his wand like as a um, like as a flashlight. So, like, came through here, and the staircase is gonna wind around. <clears throat> Trying to get a really fine line. How uh, that'll work. Like, you can't really see it from down there, but there is a gap between those two lines to kind of show that there's a, a, a sole to the shoe. Or the heel of the shoe, maybe something like that. There we go. So, light's coming down like this. Um, do you like to hide little Easter eggs in pages? Um, <clears throat> no, actually, I hate it. Um, but I'm going to do it anyways. Um, because I like it when it's in comics. Um, but, like, there's a... Um, in my book, there's a picture. And um, it's of the... The three men that created magic, the three magi, the, the three wise men, or it's my version of that and them. And any scene where that picture is, whoever uh, resides there uh, is a magician. And you're seeing the world in um, from an outsider's point of view, someone that gets swindled into doing a duel that's not a magician. But so it kind of the way the story starts, it starts in the middle, like right when I, the questions are starting to uh, to be asked, like, uh, you know, wh where am I? Why do I have to fight? What What's the purpose of this? And then um, in that very first scene, there's a picture and <clears throat> it's on like 10 panels of the book or 10 panels of the first uh, the first beat of the story and then 
as it switches locations, it'll be um, seen in other places. But to um, to do it, I had to do a high re high resolution stat of the uh, like an asset of that picture because it's going to be in the book so much and probably multiple volumes. Like wherever the story goes, like that's going to be the the sign that oh shit, like he's one of them too. We have a Mo Biggs here. Hail the chat. Um, thanks for stopping by, Mo. I trust you've got you got my uh, notification sent out. No notification. Oh, I apologize. Man, I really don't want to do this face. The brush, it's all just so small.
Uh, Mobig says, no need to apologize. The blame lies with YouTube. So I know you're a fan of a lot of comedians, Mo. I've been watching videos of, of one guy. He's like a, he's really nobody right now. He work he um, does gigs at a venue in Austin. Have you heard of a comedian named uh, Casey Rocket? He does these roast battles and just the most ridiculous shit I've ever seen, but it seems like something you'd be into. And Osgrade Sage says, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Yeah. So I guess the beard will come down to here. I don't have a fine enough point on the brush. Let me sharpen this bad boy up for a minute. I knew of a comedian named Skip Reynolds though, but he was an anti-comic. Oscar Sage says Rodney Dangerfield, Norm, and Arj Barker. So is Norm Norm McDonald or Norm Barker? I've been listening to a lot of Norm uh, Norm McDonald. I found one YouTube video where it's um, just all of the the joke cards from his uh, YouTube show, and it's like an eight-hour edit of him and his guest just reading <laughs> joke cards. A lot of them don't land, which even makes it better because Norm. McDonald doesn't give a shit if his jokes land. Thanks for stopping by, Breaking Wind. Um, nice work. I thought the glove was for screens. Um, when I'm inking, I like to use it to slide my hand because you can smear ink or um, smudge pencils with a, a bare palm of your hand. But um, this type of glove, yeah, it is for, um, for screens, but... A lot of people they use uh, like knitted gloves when they're inking. Like if you look at a uh, like Ink Monkey Hope or um, a lot of professional comic book inkers, they usually have gl a glove of some sort on. But I, it might depend on the your own inking style too. Like uh, a lot of people that. Um, do it barehanded they they float their hand so it's elevated above the page i rest uh my hand right on the paper like i, I just feel like i have more control but it doesn't uh like if i float my hand there'll be wobbles and um a bounce to 
to the work that I don't want. Uh, Breaking Wood says, oh, I didn't know. Thanks. Oh, yeah. I think at the end of the day, it's like whatever works best for you anyways, you know? Just got to experiment and figure it out. So, Osgrade Sage, what was your favorite uh, Norm MacDonald joke or... Um, I guess bit. He has one story that he told on the Howard Stern show about, um, I think he might even be repeating the story. I think it was a Bob Saget story about Rodney Dangerfield. Rodney Dangerfield had a inoperable brain tumor and, um, his heart was so bad. Like they said, like you, you have to stay here. Um, you, you could literally die at any moment. And then, uh, the next day, Bob Saget runs into him at the comedy store with, uh, three prostitutes. Uh, I won't, uh, I won't spoil the story cause it's not really, it's really not a PG story, but it's hilarious. But yeah, Norm Macdonald's, uh, he does a really good Rodney Dangerfield impression too when he tells Rodney stories. Uh, the relentless OJ fi- uh, bashing till he was fired. Yeah. There's one where he does a, um, a sports awards show and he just bombs the whole time. But you look back at it and it's like, gosh, this was so so far ahead of its time because like it's what like the comedy central roasts are like he was just going after everybody um best norm joke is i didn't even know he was sick so he actually um he didn't say he was sick but i'll have to send you the clip he talks about a stuntman that had cancer <clears throat> and um, killed himself because he didn't want um, sympathy work. Um, but the guy, uh, he kept uh, doing his normal job and he was dying the whole time. And then um, when it got bad enough, he just went and like put a shotgun in his mouth. And uh, right around the time that... Uh, Norm got sick is uh, Norm actually talks about it. Um, I believe it was the interview he did after he was uh, he did the David Letterman farewell show um, when um, when Norm broke down and started crying on uh, David Letterman's last show. So I think that's around the time he got the diagnosis. Sorry for the clickbait, guys. I said I was going to ink with the Kalinske brush. It's just these, uh, this area here, it would just be way too difficult for me to get done. I kind of ended up smearing ink all over the page. We got uh, Edwin the Ace, Volume 3, coming soon, Acevedo. What's up, Edwin?
on one of the Norm Macdonald things I was watching, they talked about um, how he hired some uh, comedians to uh, be his opening act, and he went over all their jokes with them. And then um, after he got all their material, he goes, all right, well, I'm going to, I want you guys to have a good show. So I'm going to go warm up the audience. So Norm Macdonald goes out before the opening act. And then he told the, uh, told all of these brand new comedians that only had a couple minutes worth of material. He told all of their jokes and then just walked backstage and those guys had nothing. They, all of them just bombed. I thought that was so funny. <clears throat> it's like uh, his own little inside joke that the audience wasn't even in on. The Bill Cosby hypocrisy joke is fire, too. Yeah. Really? The hypocrisy is the worst part? I thought the rape was. So you you mean to tell me it would have been better if Bill Cosby came out and said, I, I know it's not politically correct, but I just love raping. But at least I'm not a hypocrite. <laughs> Uh, Mumbig says, well, now that you've apologized, I hope YouTube will allow me to retract my report. It's all right. I've been getting um, strikes left and right on my channel. Um, Breaking Wind says, Hey, I noticed the sketch marks of where the shoulders were. How, when did you adjust that? Um, some of it's blue line, some of it's pencil. So I, uh, actually I can show you. I think I have it laying around right here. I listened to, um, a YouTube show by Rob Guillory. Yeah, here we go. Bear with me for a second, guys. And he was talking about laying out your page and um, so this is the layout I did, and it was with um, a lead holder that was really dull. So there's no actual detail to it. It's really just for like an idea of the composition, where everything's going to be laid out at. And then um, I lightboxed that on um, a piece of like this like really cheap drawing paper too. Um, and I don't really have the discipline to to lay out a full page unless it's something that can't hold ink. Like if I tried to use a felt tip pen, even like a technical pen, this um, paper is so cheap, like it would just bleed um, and it would, it would look really unclean. Um, so I did a blue line drawing and that's what I'm inking on right now, but it was a really light blue line and it was just the basic shapes. Um, so some of it, I adjusted as I went and, um, at the very beginning of the stream, if you um, go to the very beginning, I um, tightened the pencils up then. So literally um, an hour ago on today's video, I was uh, still adjusting this guy. Oh my gosh, uh, Mo. Yeah, the uh, when 
Norm Macdonald hosted uh, the fake news. Um, he just went after Frank Stallone like just about every episode. Yeah, I lack discipline. The um, the inking part of uh, making a comic is my favorite. Um, when it comes to composition and following a script, like it's literally like doing homework, like laying out a a page first. It's like solving a really long math problem, and once you're done you find out if it works or not. Like I can't, I can't tell if something works until it's all the way drawn. And one of my biggest setbacks is I'll get home from work and I'll just really want to want to unwind and in ink or whatever. And I haven't finished like really problem solving the page. So yeah, after I listened to that video, I realized like, all right, I got to, I got to put more time into the pencils, like at the layout stage, not the, the finish. Cause that's, what's really been, been setting me back. Uh, we got Jim Cox here. Um, bricks and stones are clearly your favorite. Clearly. I, I love them. But I mean... Pull up uh, any comic right now and look at the backgrounds. Like, th there really aren't any. It's a ton of open. It's just like talking heads with nothing around it. So I'm, I'm bringing value. Like every uh, everything I draw, like pro one page probably has more lines of rendering than most people's com entire comics do. All right, so the light's coming from here. So I think we can do a shadow. So some of these bricks on this side that I'm working on now, just because Jim Cox showed up. So over here is gonna be rendered a lot darker so it gives the impression of a shadow and then everything around here will be with a, a thinner pen. And I'll space the rendering, the hatch lines further apart. Um, let's see here. Who's funnier than silver men? I mean, besides men. Oh yeah, I remember that one. And he loved Sarah Silverman too. Uh, Osgood Sage says more bricks and rocks. <clears throat> uh, Mubik says in a creative sense, Skip found a map to Crack Mountain. Yeah, like um, anything that, like if if I hear something when I'm not drawing, like if I'm listening to an interview or a podcast or whatever, um, when I'm at the job, I um, I'll kind of just think about it and like if it um is something that would help me and then kind of like tweak it if it is something that would work because like that the rob guillory interview doesn't say to you know draw on cheap paper that you're not able to ink it, it's just about um how he starts out loose and then tightens up and goes and goes and goes but for me like i have to I have to make it so I'm not able to ink on that page for me to actually draw the whole thing. But it actually um, kind of motivated me to get the drawing done a little bit faster so I could get to the inking too. So it's kind of a win-win. It worked out pretty good.
let's kind of redirect the um, question that uh, Breaking Wind asked. Um, the blue line, um, it um, if you do a black and white scan of your original art, it won't pick up the blue line. So, so even the stuff that I can't erase that's on here, it it won't show on the final image when it's time to go to color. So all I really got to do on the guy on the figure here is um, the hand, and then um, probably call it a day, and I can do the rest on a uh, a time lapse, um, just so I get that content uh, done for the day too. So I'm gonna use a Micron One uh, micro liner here. Uh, Osgrave Sage says, you can't gatekeep D-Wag. I'm pretty sure I uh, banned D-Wag from my channel. That's why you guys never see him around here. Um, Liam Gray started a, uh, a green room like chat group. And he added me and a D-Wag to it. So I just started fighting with Darren in there. Because I, I don't even know the rest of the people that are in this green room. I don't go on anyone's shows anymore, really. Um, I'm going to have to white out that line above it. Some should be down here. Oh, it says D Wag lost the battle but will win the war. I don't know because, like, it's kind of one sided. He doesn't even know that uh, we're at war right now. Oscar Sage is the opposite of Bancroft. Stop white erasure.
Alrighty. That's just some eraser dust there. So, all right, guys. Um, figured uh, figured him out today, and uh, let's zoom out so you guys can see the whole page. So, what's left to do is a uh, stone here. Um, this is really just going to be rendering. Um, it'll probably be like a, an open space around the wand, and then just hatching um, to frame the the doorway. And then I got to do stone all the way down um, through here. Um, but I'm going to do that on a time lapse after I end the stream. I'll work on that. I'll probably upload it in a couple hours because um, time lapses take uh, actually a bit longer than the stream. So that's where we're at. So this page will be uh, hopefully wrapped up today. And I um, on the next one, I got a light box, a page um, that I screwed up the inks on because I was trying to... Uh, get going on um the new uh nib that i got so i got a light box this page um because i didn't have a scan of it and i thought i did and uh this will be the next one that i'm working on but i got like 10 penciled pages uh to work on before i need to uh really draw anything else like i'll just be um inking for the next week or so but thanks for hanging out guys and i will see you next time have a good saturday bye